All right, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining. This is Deathlord Warped Gamer. Just going to give a quick synopsis here on the difference between the new Anvil Arrow and the Aegis Saber. I am currently in the Saber comment. What I noticed with the arrow is that I didn't feel like it was as nimble as I think it should be. So let me just give you a quick demonstration. It's just a free flight, um, just some examples of the strafing right and left ups and downs not quite able to Go 90 degrees at at 100 clicks per second, but anyways, that's a sort of quick quick demonstration. I, w I wonder if it's actually move faster if I'm not moving. I kind of wish it would give a. I wish it would give a number on how fast in in any particular vector, and maybe it maybe it does, but I don't know it. All right, so that's a couple of the maneuvers here. Let's go ahead and switch over to the arrow now. Uh, switch this back to free flight, broken moon. Get this weird bug where it um, doesn't quite show everything. Sometimes going back, sometimes I have to come out all the way, but let's see how far back we really need to go. Nope. Alright, let's go ahead and exit Arena Commander. This worked last time, so let's try this again. Alright, select. Oh, nope, it's still being crappy on me. Of course this happens anytime I want to make a video. There we go. Sometimes it just takes a couple tries. Let's just select that ship and launch in to free flight. All right. Alright, let's go up. It takes quite a while to slow down. Uh, it takes a long time to slow down. I don't know, I think this really says it. The arrow is not quite as nimble as I would expect. I feel like the saber is a lot quicker as far as strafing goes anyways. Hmm. I'm really not impressed with the rolling. Well, I guess you be to the the judge of that, but it, it really looks like okay. So here I'm going. It's quicker. It I mean it's. I'm turning and strafing. It really slows down. 
down to 50 clicks per second and I can barely maneuver around. If there's something I'm doing wrong, someone let me know, but it is painfully slow for for being advertised as a light fighter, nimble and quick. I'm really disappointed. Um on on the plus side, I mean, it has a decent armament with the with the turret on top, you can have two size twos, I think. Uh, maybe you can have two size threes on the turret above. I've just got a, a single panther repeater on top, and then the Omni Sky Nine cannons on the wings, and those pack quite a bunch, as you can see in the electromagnetic magnetic and the infrared um, signals on the left. You can watch them again. One shot gives a good burst. Interesting how they produce different amounts, even in continued fire. Oh, there we go. Look at that jump. That's pretty cool. That's really neat. But the point of this video was to show the difference between the maneuverability of the Saber Comet, in particular, and the Anvil Arrow. Um, the Arrow. I was hoping to have a much more nimble fighter. The advertisement shows that it's quicker, more nimble. I, so far, I've found to be quite the opposite here. Um, it seems slower, um, a bit more cumbersome. Sure, it can turn, but I feel like the saber turned faster. Saber sh is supposed to have more shields, more armor. Not much armor anyways, because it's a stealth fighter, but this is just sort of painfully slow. I... Anyways, that's what I'm going to say about it. It's pretty obvious. That was just a quick video just to show the difference there. This is Deathlord Warped Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. And tune in again next time for another review. Um, hopefully they'll have a patch soon to fix these flight mechanics make the arrow the light fighter that it should be. Thanks for watching.